Good afternoon, everybody. This is Karen March from Hilton Head Island, South Carolina. And this is a Bluebird box, number E10. And I'll be starting the Bluebird project in about a week or so, just to clean out all the boxes. And the reason I'm filming from the outside first is because I know for a fact there's a family of flying squirrels. Now they are called Southern Flying Squirrel, or of course the fancy name is Glaucomus volans, which means flying gray mouse. And the body and the tail are 10 inches total in length and the loose skin attached to its wrist and ankles acts as a sail for gliding. And it looks like a, like a body length cape. And it allows the squirrel to have an angular descent to the next tree. And the squirrel can throw up its tail in four limbs and rise on a turn before dropping onto the trunk. So the reason I wanted to tell you all that is because these squirrels are very, very fast. And I came here last week, I'm gonna open this slowly I don't want to scare them. And they are nocturnal. And typically, oh great, I can't even, <laughs> I can't even, wait a minute, we have to be careful. Woo. Uh, let me let me undo this a little bit more. We have a special screwdriver to protect the uh, bluebirds during season. And the bluebird project, might as well mention this, runs from March through August. It's a six month project. Okay, here we go. And so, all right, let's see if we got a squirrel in here. Now look at this. Okay, we're gonna zoom in. Let's see, this is so much vegetation, it's unbelievable. All right, I'm not seeing any movement. Now, of course, hey, they could be out hunting right now. I don't know. Usually, uh, one will pop out. Oh, look, oh my God, this is wonderful. What a cutie. Here, I'll stand back so he doesn't get scared. Okay, so this is a flying squirrel. Now, I'm gonna zoom in because many people have never seen one. I certainly never heard of a flying squirrel. I'm glad, <laughs> woo. I'm glad one is making an appearance. Um, I don't know how many are in this box. I know definitely two, because I saw two last week. Uh, hey, some people call these little animals fairy diddles, um, which is so funny. A normal flight for them is 30 to 50 feet, uh, but they have been known to travel further than like 250 feet. They drop one foot for every three feet of a horizontal glide, and they only weigh a couple of ounces. Um, they do live in hardwoods and mixed forest, and I'm in Sea Pines Plantation right now, and I'm along this, um, it's not a golf course area, but I mean, it appears to be like a fairway, but it's just a grass area. And um, they are a member of the squirrel family. In fact, I just filmed an Eastern Gray Squirrel. And now I'm gonna zoom back. Now, I don't know, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here on the side and see if one's gonna come out. Um, I've seen a family of four at one time. And I have another box, E11. I have 12 on the route that I check. And we do have um, several other volunteers that work on their boxes. But this is a high voltage uh, telephone pole. Let me look right here. Uh, okay, my, my sign's on the other side now. Here we go. <laughs> oh, you have to love it. So it says, danger, high voltage on wires above. And a lot of times, um, when I have filmed these little precious little animals, one has come out and run up to the top. All right, well, we don't want to disturb them, but I just thought everybody would be interested in seeing uh, what a squirrel would look like, flying squirrel to be exact. All right, everybody, it's Karen Mart signing off from Hilton Head Island. Have a great day.